Hello and welcome to this Axiom demo. Aside from the editor UI, Axiom also provides a number of features for the normal game UI. These features can be accessed by holding down the Alt key, which will bring up this window here. Going through everything here one by one, the first thing that you'll notice is the uh, hotbar swapper. So by uh, using the scroll wheel or by clicking, you can very easily swap your hotbar. So essentially you go from having uh, nine items at your fingertips to 81. Uh, you can also move around the items if you need to quickly uh, swap things. On the right here, we have the fly speed bar. So at 100% you fly normally, at 90% you fly 10 times as fast. Up here we have the game mode switches. So in my opinion, this is a little bit faster than F3, F4. And you can just swap to the other game modes using this. With that out of the way, we get to the meat and potatoes, the capabilities. Uh, capabilities can be toggled by pressing their button here. And capabilities simply provide uh, various features uh, that improves the building experience. So the first one here is the enhanced flight. So this provides a more precise flight. You get no momentum and you move in the direction of the camera. That looks like this. Next up, we have the bulldozer. So by holding down left click, we can break blocks very fast. It does what it says on the tin, hold down left click and you can break a lot of blocks very fast. Next up, we have the replace mode. Replace mode allows you to right click to replace the block that you're looking at. It'll also inherit the properties of the block that you look at. So if we go ahead and get oak stairs here, you can see that the oak stairs inherit the properties from the spruce stairs. Next up, we have force place and no updates. Uh, usually you want to turn uh, both of these on together. Uh, force place will bypass block placement restrictions and no updates will prevent triggering neighbor updates when placing or breaking blocks. So as for force place, uh, you can see here, I'm able to place any sort of uh, block that needs, you know, some stability and you can see I just place it in the air, it doesn't care. Uh, similarly with crops, you can just, just place crops on top of stone, does not care. Uh, you can also uh, place blocks inside of entities, so I can place a block inside of myself here, or if I had an armor stand, I can uh, place a block inside of the armor stand, I can place a block inside of um, any sort of entity. Lastly, we have the tinker capability. Tinker provides various useful interactions when right-clicking with your fist. So there are a lot of interactions. I'm just going to give you a taste uh, of some of them over here. So for instance, we can open and close iron doors. We can toggle the growth stage of bamboo and a lot of other plants. We can rotate uh, certain rotatable blocks. We can extend the piston. Uh, same with the furnace. We can light the furnace. Same with the pumpkin. We can rotate it and we can also light the pumpkin. Uh, this cauldron has water in it. We can right click with our fist to change the water level and For most crops in the game you can right click to change their growth stage Finally tinker allows you to uh, chisel away at blocks that have both uh, Stair and slab variants. So for example these blocks here. I can right click like this to get a quick staircase Very nice uh, you can also obviously right click uh, in the middle of the ground to you know create patterns and all sorts of things. All right, those are the capabilities and various features of the game UI. Uh, check out the other videos for information about the editor UI.